Sarah Ferguson has provided an update on the Queen's dogs after they moved in with her and her ex-husband, Prince Andrew. Many royal fans were concerned about what would happen to Her Majesty's two dogs, Mark and Sandy, when she died. The beautiful couple paid their respects outside Windsor Castle during the Queen's funeral in a poignant tribute to the monarch who was known for her love of corgis. Prince Andrew and his ex-wife, Sarah Ferguson, confirmed that they would take in the pups following the Queen's death and now the Duchess, better known as Fergie, is giving fans an insight into her pet field family life after taking over the dog's care alongside her ex-husband, according to The Telegraph. During the Henley Literary Festival earlier this week, Fergie revealed that it's a big honour to have the pets. She called them national treasures and said they were taught well. Andrew and Fergie are also pet parents to five Norfolk Terriers at their shared home at the Royal Lodge in Windsor. Fergie shared, They all balance out. The carpet moves as I move, but we've got used to it now. During her 70-year reign, the Queen owned more than 30 corgis, having received her first dog, Susan, as a present on her 18th birthday. Muck was given to the monarch by Prince Andrew and his daughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie to keep her company when her husband Prince Philip was in hospital. Sandy was later given to her by the Duke of York on what would have been Philip's 100th birthday. Following the Queen's death, Prince William told mourners that the corgis were being spoiled rotten. They're going to be fine, they're two very friendly corgis and they've got a good home, he added. Andrew is very affectionate towards the corgis and comforted them during Her Majesty's funeral on September the 19th. Photographers snapped Andrew petting the Welsh corgis at Windsor Castle where they were standing guard following the funeral mass. Fergie also attended the funeral alongside other members of the royal family, including Andrew, their daughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, as well as King Charles III, Camilla, Queen Consort, Prince Anne, Prince Edward and more. Fergie honoured the Queen on Twitter on September the 8th shortly after her passing. I am heartbroken by the passing of Her Majesty the Queen. She leaves behind an extraordinary legacy, the most fantastic example of duty and service and steadfastness, and a constant steadying presence as our Head of State for more than 70 years, she wrote. Fergie added, She has given her whole life selflessly to the people of the UK and the Commonwealth. To me, she was the most incredible mother-in-law and friend. I will always be grateful to her for the generosity she showed me in remaining close to me even after my divorce. Andrew, the Duke of York, also paid tribute to his mum on September the 18th. Dear Mummy, Mother, Your Majesty, three in one. Your Majesty, it has been an honour and privilege to serve you, he said in a statement. Mother of the nation, your devotion and personal service to our nation is unique and singular. Your people show their love and respect in so many different ways, and I know that you are looking on, honouring their respect, he said.